Welcome, we're here today with the Langer Rock team to um, review how they're using Revisto on site with the new Malconex uh, infrastructure project. It's a pretty exciting day, um, great weather for it, and we're looking forward to seeing how the team have been using Revisto to bring this amazing project together. The Morley Dallin Brook line is important because we're providing a corridor through the, to the northern suburbs, a connection to the city. Um, it also is connecting a lot of critical areas um, that at this point don't have public transportation um, that they'd probably like to have. The project itself is, um, is pretty interesting. It's uh, pretty complex in terms of interfacing with other alliances, so that, that was a key challenge for us. But the project consists of 21 kilometers of new rail track with five new stations being built, um, and we have two major viaducts that are also being built at the same time. We started from day one, um, from, so the part of the process that we have to go through with um, Public Transport Authority is that we need to issue four stages of design. I guess it was a lot greater than we anticipated. Originally when we set the project up we allowed for maybe 20 to 50 Revisto users and now we're up to 750 and it's just growing every day. As you can imagine having preset uh, views would help in navigation. If you're looking at a 21 kilometer linear infrastructure project like Malconex trying to find where you are in the model can be very, very time consuming. And if people have not really used the platform, you want to make it as easy as possible. So whilst it sounds really simple, I think navigation through preset views actually helps the project get to where you need to get to and resolve issues a lot faster. And in terms of coordination and having appearance profilers, it actually helped us visualize and identify issues much faster before you actually go down a path of running formal flash detection. So on a day-to-day -day basis we use um, Revisto across uh, multiple parts of the process. So the first part um, which we discussed was the IDC, the interdisciplinary check. Then we also use it um, for the shop drawings process. So this is when we get our designers to review the subcontractors' drawings in Revisto, make comments and use Revisto as an approval process. We also use it um, for clash detection. So when we come to the back end of the design, when we're getting to the issued for construction phase, we really go utilize Revisto to go into the detail of what needs to get fixed before we issue it out, out on site. And we're now moving into the red line markup process and the as constructed. So this is how we're going to hand the job over to the client um, and we're utilising Revisto heavily in this process. It's One of the, the big key factors for us was getting the site teams to embrace the use of the technology and we went down a path of purchasing tablets for the site teams to, to use the, the models and that proved to be hugely successful with the site teams because the site engineers were now um, using their tablets and we moved away from, I suppose, carrying clunky paper drawings or a not drawings on site and, you know, it was all digitized. So again, Revisto for us is, is all about communication tool, transparency uh, and understanding where workflows and reviews are at. The biggest key for me was having the site engineers use the model on site and whilst they were on site, they were able to visualize um, you know, what was in the design and um, what was installed on site or what was built on site. So they were, we could identify issues in terms of uh, equipment not being installed right or where there were changes in the products in terms of spatial and geometric constraints. So that was uh, a major plus factor for us. Uh, so having all the information located together in one platform, so having the 2D drawings, the 3D model, all the issues all in one platform is easily accessible. That's been a huge benefit in this project. Uh, it saves a huge amount of time. A lot of the team do use the phone app. They find it just really easy to use, convenient, and yeah, it's always in your pocket, so you can just take it out. And I always like to relate the story. Uh, we had actually forgotten our tablets. Um, so we actually decided to use the model uh, on our mobile apps and uh, we were pleasantly surprised with how well that worked. And just using the model, we identified you know, some, some issues in, in an electrical room where 
a distribution board um, that was installed was different to what was designed and immediately we could pick that up and ensure that or we raised an issue um, to the site team where um, they had to pick that up in the red line markup. I think the benefits um, were pretty evident in, in the uptake. You know, it's the first time we've, we've kind of used Revisto to this extent and having 750 um, users from different organizations was probably evidence in terms of, um, you know, where the uptake was and, and how we used it. But the benefits for us revolved around having very strong documented processes. I think processes supported how we approached training. And so that in itself was very beneficial to the project. You know, we, if you look at it from a design perspective and having reviewed the design packages using Revisto added more value to us in terms of tracking and kind of um, tracking issues through the project life cycle. So, you know, if we had an issue that was raised at reference design, uh, we could literally track it right up until handover and ensure that those, were, were, those issues were closed. Yeah, I suppose the success that we've had on the Revisto implementation on the Morley to Ellenbrook uh, project is, um, w you know, we, we take a lot of lessons learned out of that. And I think um, as a business, we, we, we w moving forward, we would use Revisto on other projects. But I think we have well-documented workflows. And as we implement that on other projects, it will just get better and better. I think, um, you know, using Revisto out in the field is, is, is probably an area that we want to explore more as a business because um, we can definitely see the benefits uh, and taking that on the lessons learned from here and implementing it on another project will, will just bring much more efficiency to our business as a whole. And I think another area that we probably want to touch on is the model handover and what happens um, beyond, um, you know, construction handover and um, kind of just working with, um, you know, future clients on how that model can still be used in the operational and maintenance life cycle of the building. So, you know, handing over a, a digital asset at the end of the project is just the beginning and there's so much more potential. And I think there's an avenue there that we can explore with, with Revisto in terms of, you know, the clients and the operational team or the facilities management team then taking that model and using it in, in, in the operational and life cycle. Because at the end of the day, your return on investment in managing a, a property or a large infrastructure asset is in that operational phase. And I think that's an untouched area that uh, you know, we as an organization could benefit from uh, with Revisto as well.